Welcome back, Gamer Nation. This is week one of the Texas State Bobcats wow. Dynasty Mode. We've got a lot to look into. First, I need to take care of some recruiting and see where everybody's at. So let's do some more scouting and see what some of these guys are now that we've got some more points. We are limited being a level zero coach of not having a lot of points to spend. I think we're at 5,000. Um, but we will go through here and check out some of these guys, especially our hero down here, Johnny Walker. Tip your glasses to him. Uh, and we'll see who else. Brian Breedlove, that's another guy I'd like to bring on board. But uh, we'll go ahead and let's go through here and just check out some of these guys. Before I offer them scholarships, we need to see if they're Texas State caliber, which at this point, is anybody who wants to come here? We just need players. Like, for real. It's like, it's like the Louisville Cardinals now. We just need guys. Please, if you're a college athlete or getting ready to go to college, you could play sports, go to Louisville. Or if you're in this video game, come to Texas State. We really need you. All right, let's see what we got here. John Wayne, we got him uh, overall, not John Wayne, John Wade. Uh, let's see what he's got here. Let's scout him again and see. Oh, he went up to a 74. Wow, his block shedding and finesse moves are really up. Uh, yeah, halfway through, I'm impressed with this kid. Um, I didn't mean to go all the way back. He got me so tore up. Go ahead and offer him a scholarship. And I'll go ahead and plug 100 points on him. Looks like we're getting a 325 bonus from proximity to home playing time and <laughs> that program tradition. He's also in a pipeline state. Um, we're 155. Let's give him 200 points. Then we'll go on down the list and see what else we have. Darius Fields, we are fifth on his list. Oh, up to 71. His speed is 69. That's garbage. Acceleration, 81. Not bad. We do need a number of defensive linemen. Um, let's go ahead and offer him a scholarship. Plug him 200 points. Adrian Harris. Went back up to a 70. Finesse moves 75. Block shedding 74. Oh, man, he's going to cut us off if we don't get uh, up there. Let's go ahead and give him 200. Let's just see where he gives us. 500 is the max we can do. I don't want to do that. I also don't want to do that. Claude Pittman. Ooh, back up to a 69. We're getting a little bit of bonus from him. We're in the lead. Let's go ahead and offer him that scholarship. And we'll give him 100 points. Again, I'm, I'm being stingy. We'll go back through and we'll work on these when we get through. Melvin Bullock, a center. We definitely need one of those guys. Uh, he likes the playing time, proximity to home and playing style. So everything. Let's go ahead and scout him some more. Ooh, he went down one. Impact blocking is 74, though. Pass block, 72. That is nice. Uh, we are projected to get cut off. I might just max this dude because we definitely need a center. Let's offer him a scholarship and do the max on Melvin. So here's our updated uh, recruit list, our scouting list. John Wade, Darius Fields, Adrian Harris, Claude Pittman. The defensive line, we're really going to look on that. Uh, offensive line, here's more defense. I've got way too many people, but we'll see where the cards fa uh, fall, and we may have to change this up. Then we go down into our offense a little bit, some more defense, and then we'll go from there. I wouldn't mind having this kicker, but no sense in scouting him just yet. Where did I lose five points? Something is... All right, so we're set on scouting. Our coaches, you can see right there, Brett Conquest, Carl Kaysen, and C.J. Tate, the lowest level. The head coach max level is 54, and the OCDC is 27. We've got a long way to go. Job security is a C minus, 100% right now. Texas State fans expect nothing short of a bowl berth. Can you do it? Probably not. Looks like in our conference, Texas State is projected to finish sixth out of eight teams in the conference. 
Uh, the conference leaders look like Arkansas State, U of Louisiana Monroe, and Western Kentucky, which I've been to that campus multiple times. It's about four hours away from me because we have a long ass state, but it's over there. There we set 68 overall offense, or 67 offense, 70 defense, 68 overall. My bad. Um, yeah, some of these teams are going up toward the 80 mark. Here we can see the big time stats program info. Our all time record is four and eight. Our rival is UTSA. Fan base, we don't really have anything going. No rankings, key injuries, nine at the moment. It's like Dunbar, Sutton, and Folks are the people that got ready to go. And our schedule, which is set, the two major games. Oh man, the Louisville one's the day before my birthday. That's awesome. Taking a look at the All Americans for the All Sun Belt team, we have nobody on the first team. And it looks like second team is snubbing us as well. We've got a long rebuild ahead of us. For your outlook for us, our grade of D minus, we are ranked 123. I want to say, yeah, there's only 126 teams on the game. We are three from the bottom. But in hindsight, with me taking over the helm, it says, but the year 2016 will be ranked 95th. So hopefully, Georgia State is in our conference. UTSA is in our conference, I believe. We are in the worst conference. South Alabama may actually also be in our conference. Yeah, they're in the Sun Belt. Only one not in here is Old Dominion. They're independent. Interesting. Toughest places to play. I'm sure that we're somewhere on this list. A hundred and twentieth Bobcat Stadium, ready to rock. Bruh. A five hundred record at home. We are so new. We may have six fans in the crowd, but the Nacho guy, you better be going. Week one, two thousand thirteen. Let's go ahead and look at the game coming up. No visitors because nobody likes us. We are D and D plus teams. Oh, we got a C minus defense. Kirk. Kirk, my brother. He's picking us. I don't like when I change things at the top where it says team schedule. It says yawn. We'll see about that. Take a look at our uniform. See what we've got cooking this year. Ooh, I like the red home. All red. All. Is our ways all gold? No, there's some white. I like the gold helmets. Looking good. No alternate, we'll have to toy with some stuff, but we'll go with this one. Normal home uniforms, looks like it's a pretty even game. I will go ahead and play this first game as the Texas State playbook. And we'll run the 4-3 because that's what we have the manpower for. Our top players, free safety, Robinson. Falks, our wide receiver at 76, and then our kicker. It's always great when your kicker is one of your top three players. It's like we're all pumped up for some Texas State football. Stewart and Dixon out there getting hyped up. There's FCS. We don't really care about them. They're not a real team. There's Brett Conquest. He's ready to go. The Gamecock himself got the team pumped up for game one. We're going to need it. The tail of the tape shows that the teams are even going to be a tough one out there here they come your texas state bobcats we got them dancing before the game we needed some footage so we made the team go out there and dance before the game just act silly our uh, media department's a little slow we're working on that looks like everybody's ready to go oh we got the other team involved we just need you to run at him and spin there's conquest looking like he's coached before this is his first game he's not done anything spike the ball texas state ready to go Bobcat Stadium is rocking. Look at us. We got all the fans. All the fans. And here's the start of our first game. Dixon is back. He's got some blockers out front. Dixon, look at, oh my God, he got through. Dixon breaks loose. And he'll pick up 27. There's Brett Conquest. He's ready to go. He's giving the quarterback center, telling him, keep your asses in gear. Let's go. Texas State lines up, first to 10, first play of the season. Goes on the outside, Sutton dropped for a loss of two. 
If CS was there. Make it a 12. It's Falks in the slant, and he'll pick up 11 yards short of the first down. But third and one looks a lot better than third and long. 31, Texas State. Bobcats not really wanting their first drive to come up short. Sutton, Sutton busts through, and he'll pick up some yards. Nine yard rush, first down, move those chains. We got all the cheerleaders here. Guys, if you're looking for some Bobcat cheerleader action, it's here on campus. Looks like they're loading up the left side of the field. Our play is going to the right. Put a man in motion. Sutton tried to juke, wrapped up there. He'll get five. Second and five. Oh, he broke through. Right. Gandy drops it. Could have picked up some yardage there. And bar got his block. Oh, he tried to hit him on the run. Oh, he had him, but a terrible throw there. As Dunbar drops the one for three in the day. First and ten for FCS Midwest. Here's your Texas State defense. McGee with a four-yard rush. He'll run to the left here. Oh. Oh, hit him initially, then Cleveland comes up and finishes the job. Nice defensive stop, Eric Cleveland there. there he shugged off the initial hit, then Cleveland followed it up. <laughs> then they fall over each other. Bring in the front floor here, third and 11. Oh, nice defensive deflection there. Let's see if Texas State can get anything started in this second series. Hand off to Sutton. Sutton shoots through, picks up four. 450 left in the first half. Dunbar trying to hit Gandy on the run. Oh, Gandy didn't turn around in time. If he wants those plays to work, he's going to have to learn to set and throw. That one's going to sell out of bounds. Brett Dunbar just not got the accuracy right now that Texas State needs to move down the field. Looks like they're on the nine yard line, so he put them inside the 10. Oh, Stanley comes down with it. Stanley's got a little bit of return. If he can get a block, and he'll go out of bounds. Nice interception by Stanley there. The corner was on it. Looks like he was giving a hug to his buddy there. He's like, come on, let's go. Nice defensive stand for Texas State there. Bobcats, they're excited. Question is, is Texas State going to be able to get some offense together? Dunbar's not having a good day. Let's see if Sutton can get it going. Sutton takes off in the middle. Sutton jukes moves. Seven yards. That'll be seven and third. Four minutes to go, second and third. Sutton stopped. He'll pick up two, it looks like. 31, Cummings goes on the move. Another blocker out there. Sutton finds a little gap, cuts back, and he'll pick up 12. Cheerleaders are happy. Anytime you have a reason to throw a woman in the air, you know something great has happened. Dunbar drops back. Dunbar, sack. The ball pops out. The offense picks it back up, so now it's going to be second and 21. A terrible number 90 getting in there, taking Dunbar down. Dunbar having some issues. We knew there were going to be situations where that offensive line was going to be needed this year. So far, they're not living it up. Gandy catches third and 15. Hit immediately after the catch. Oh, Gandy. Gandy breaks through, and he'll get the first down. Chris Gandy, 15 yards. Texas State moves the change. Good move there. Fake to the outside. Come in. Defender almost got a hand on it. They'll give him the first down. Texas State loading the right side. Gandy, another, another catch. Gandy brings it down. Couldn't break free of that one, but Gandy having a good series here. Texas State, balanced offense down. Eight runs, eight passes. Second and two here. 
Dunbar hands it off. Sutton trying to break through. Sutton! I think he's right on the goal line. First and goal. Texas State on the verge of scoring their first touchdown of the year. And Sutton will walk in. Tom Sutton picks up six. And Texas State has reason to celebrate. Sands comes out for the uh, point after attempt. He'll put it through and Texas State leads seven to nothing. Brett Conquest, oh yes, getting excited. Sands with the kickoff, way deep. Here comes George out with it. Oh, he's got some good blocks. And he'll come through, he'll get pushed out of bounds. 47 yard return. Coach Conquest saying, get out there. You've not given up any yardage. Don't let them get anything. Hold the line. First to 10, FCS Midwest comes out. Run a little screen. Staley's there. Holmes will get three yards in that. Tripped our linebackers over, second and seven. Stanley, excuse me, I called him Staley last play. He'll hold him third and in inches. Let's creep everybody up here. Walton will rush ahead and get the first down for FCS. Smith in motion. Handoff. Gore is back there, slows him. He doesn't get him, but Humphrey will bring him down for a loss. That's the end of the first quarter. 7-0 Texas State, but FCS Midwest pushing, trying to tie this game up. Third and one. Summer's creeping in. Uh-oh. Comes around the end. Kendrick tries to bring him down, but then finally. Oh, my God. He got wrapped up. And George with a four-yard loss there. Texas State line pushed through. He actually Jensen there. Jensen, who was being blocked, grabbed a hold of him and give him time. Robinson back on the coverage. Robinson almost comes down with it. We'll break it up. It's fourth and ten. FCS. Bobcat defense holds. Kick is up, and he barely squeezes it in. 7-3 with 6.51 left in the second quarter. It's like Gandy's going to have a chance to run this one back. Gandy turns on the outside, sheds one. 29-yard return for Chris Gandy. Flick out, Stewart gets it. Stewart, ooh, brought down hard there. 6.25 left in the second quarter. Texas State lines up. Dunbar hands off to Sutton. Sutton got a hole. Sutton going through. And bobs and weaves through, and he'll pick up 14 on the rush. Second and 10. Dunbar looking. Dunbar smashed in the backfield. Nine-yard loss. That's going to make it third and very long here. Two back to protect. Dunbar looking here. Oh, we got Gandy. Gandy picks up a big chunk, but he'll be short of the first down. Fourth and two. Coach Conquest decides to go for it here. Fourth and two. He lines them up. And Sutton's going to break through, and they're going to convert on fourth down. An eight-yard rush there. Bobcat cheerleaders excited. They're going to stand on each other. 4.54 left in the half. Texas State lines up first and 10. Handoff, Sutton. Sutton cuts back, bounces out. He'll trip up there, six yard rush. First and 10. Gandy was wide open. Gandy throws one off, he'll pick up four. Pick up six, excuse me. Fox with the catch, Fox almost breaks free. And he'll be right on the goal line. Shed his cover, almost tripped up, gets it back, catches it, brought down at the goal line. First and goal, Texas State looking to increase the lead. Jones on the carry, Jones goes in. Darnell Jones with a one yard touchdown 
and he's getting a little action. The sophomore puts it in for a score. 68 yards in four minutes. Your Sands in. Sands will put it through. It's 14 to three. 256 left before the halftime whistle. Those guys are excited. Texas State defense comes out. Linebackers shift over. Oh, quarterback. Kendrick is there. Oh, my good Lord. What a move. Thomas Black with an 11-yard rush there. Robinson comes up. Oh, he misses that. All right. Bob was congratulating 43 Jensen. Marcus Jensen had to come up and finish the play. Shed the one tackle. Jensen was there. Second and 15, FCS. Trying to move here. Probably want to make the game closer before half. Summers is through. He couldn't get to the quarterback. Oh, is it Jensen? Jensen with the tackle. He'll get the sack. 43 there. Oh, shed him and caught him just at the right moment. Like they're trying to waste some clock. Uh oh. And Gore. Gore couldn't get to that one in time. Bad throw there. The pressure was coming. So fourth and 20. There's going to be a minute 30 left on the clock. Falks is back there to receive. He'll take the ball. Oh. Brought down only nine yards on that. Texas State offense, pretty even. Conquest, got to be happy. Or maybe he's not. First to 10, 121 left. Dunbar looking. Oh, he's got a guy. He's going to try to hit him deep. Oh, what a play by Johnny Landry deflecting that one. Gandy could have been gone. Third and 15. Play action. Dunbar going deep. Folks is out there, and folks, Hayes knocks it down. Gonna leave 44 seconds on the clock. I don't think that was great time management by Texas State. Hunt will stay in. Fair catch called. They load the right side of the field. Jensen there. Got to pick up the first down. 14 seconds left. Is SCS going to use a timeout? Back up a little bit. Oh, Summers got to him. Oh, God, he's going to break through. Parker is going to maybe Stanley helps bring him down. Six seconds left. 29 yards here at the end. Some excitement. Kick is up. And they'll add three more. So it's going to be 14 to six. Going in the half. Here at the start of the second half, we asked Coach Conquest what he thought Texas State needed to do in the second. He said the defense needs to hold like they are, but the offense needs more explosive plays. You can see here 33 plays, but 139 yards to show from that. So they're making yardage, just not big chunks like he wants to see. FCS Midwest comes in. Chance to tie the game up with an eight-point turnaround here. And Holmes drops that one. Tight coverage on the play. Oh, he tries to scramble. Black brought down behind the line. Number five, Omar Mangum. Good, good God, boy. What a name you have. Look at him. Meatball and traction just takes him down. Third and 15. Conquest has the defense coordinator bring in the line. Summers trying to get through. Uh-oh. Nice catch there, George, with the 21-yard reception. Coverage was back a bit too far. Third and nine, Texas State needing a big stop here. Defense digs in. And Humphrey will not bring him down. Walton will spin around and pick up the yardage, and FCS moves the chains. Oh, good Lord. 
And that's going to be another first down. Taewon Boyd with the reception. Black over 100 yards passing today. Texas State going to have to do something about these short passes. There's another one. Robinson's over there. He'll push him out of bounds. Walton gets seven, though. Oh, Robinson gets his hand in there. Almost snagged that one. And the ball's thrown down, and that'll make it fourth down. So Texas State defense holds. FCS trying to bring the game even closer. Kicker out here. Kick is up, and it's right through the middle. 14-9. Here in the third, 526 remaining. 14-9, close game here, 521. Gandy drops it. The mishmash today. Dunbar putting the ball on the spot in some plays. In other ones, it's nowhere. And Dunbar sacked on that play. He didn't even have a chance to check down. FCS definitely has the mojo going right now. Oh, he got right by him. Center let him go. Oh, he hits Fox. Fox makes the catch. 20 yards for the first down. That's what Coach Conquest wanted to see. Texas State delivers right there. Second 11 approaching midfield. Run to the right. Sutton turns the corner, gets through, and he'll get the first down, 13 yards. Third and inches here. They're still not in field goal range. Center calling out blocks. Jones will push through. Darnell Jones picking up three yards and the first. And the cheerleaders doing some corkscrew action. They'll be doing shots later. First and ten. Looks like they're bringing somebody in. Oh, Fox with the dive. Quarterback saw they were cheating up one of the safeties, and he goes. Dunbar puts it in the perfect spot. Fox makes the catch, and that moves him closer. First and 10, Texas State loads up the right side. 251, left in the third. Handoff, Sutton. He gets around one guy, he'll pick up four. Texas State comes out, second and six. They're loading up the left side now. Handoff, Jones. Jones squiggles through. He'll pick up four more. It'll be third and two. Third and two. Oh, Stewart! Oh, Stewart drops it on the goal line. All he had to do was bring it in, and he had six. Coach Conquest decides to go for it here. Trust his defense if they don't get it. Fourth and a long two. Sutton squeezes in there and gets the first down. It'll be first and goal. Loading up the line. Dunbar, play action. Throws an interception to Hayes. Oh. 41, the fullback was wide open, but Dunbar decided to go. All that work. Coach Conquest beside himself. Texas State defense comes back out. 137 left in the third. Three, four. Texas State protecting against the pass. Shifting the linebackers over. Parker! Russ Parker was there. Couldn't bring it down. Fourth and ten. So the defense does their job. First and ten. Stewart with the catch. Nine yards. Small window there and Dunbar hit it. Second and one. Sutton, he gets the block. Three yard rush, moves the chains. He's over 100 yards for the day. First and 10. Gandy makes the catch, 10 yards, first down again. Dunbar hits 150 yards passing today. 
Cummings in motion. Sutton gets a block, squeezes through, and he'll get nine on the rush. Bruh. I hope he's okay. 14 to nine into the third quarter. Texas State 14, FCS Midwest nine. Eight minutes to decide this one. Second and one. Dunbar hands off. Sutton spun around. He's losing yardage and he'll be brought down. There's a flag on the play. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. And the defense gets a face mask call. That's the first penalty of the game. That helps Texas State out a lot there. First and goal. Oh God, Dunbar in trouble. And he tried to throw it away, but he couldn't get it away, and he'll lose 14. Second and goal, 20-something yards away. He'll dump it out to Jones. Jones, Jones slips by and runs over somebody, and he'll bring him inside the 10. The sophomore half Mac. Ooh, he trucking some people there. Third and goal, it's more manageable. Let's see if they can come up with something. And Dunbar throws it in dirt. Texas State will settle for a field goal. In surprise fashion, Conquest has sent out the offense. He's going to go for it here. Throw. Oh! He put it in the place, and Fox drops it. So FCS holds. This game is winnable. Once again, Coach Conquest has put the game in the hands of his defense. Seven yard out pass there. That makes it second and three. Second and three. Trips to the left. Kendrick's there. They'll get the first down though. FCS getting some breathing room. Loading up both sides now. Smith brings that one down. What a weird pass. Summer's calling out some plays, shifting people around. The running backs could get through. Walton with 12 yards. FCS pushing here. 14-9 game. Second and 10. Oh, and Magnum sacks Black for six yards. It'll be third and 16. This could be a big down right here. Looks like 14 was there. Good stop there, but he couldn't bring it down. Magnum finishes him off. Third and 16. Tight end splits out. And he'll drop that. That makes it fourth down. FCS, big decision here. Hunt team comes out on the field. Five minutes left. We're going to kick it out. Fox is back there. Fox heads over. He'll be brought down 13 yard return. So the Bobcat defense holds Texas State offense out on the field. 4.53 left in the game. Rush play called. Sutton trying to get the outside brought down. Loss of one on the play. He just couldn't get around the edge of the turn. Second and 11. This is where you find out who your playmakers are. Who can you go to at a time like this? Gandy drops the ball. Cummings goes in motion. Hand off to Sutton. Sutton trying to get the edge. Sutton turns the corner. He's going to get through. Sutton runs. Oh, and he's brought down by the shoelace. 28-yard play. Sutton turned the corner. He saw daylight. Number three just clipping the leg, saving a touchdown. First and 10. Play action. And he'll, oh, and Gandy. How many drops has Gandy had? Third and 12. Oh, Stewart! What a catch by Ryan Stewart. Catches it over the defender. Cheerleaders are like, yeah, we'll do a pyramid. 
Clock ticking down, 328 left in the game. Cummins in motion. Sutton gets the ball, he's got some blockers. Sutton weaving through seven yards on the play. He's up to 141 yards, uh-oh, Sutton is still down. I hope that's nothing serious. Sutton stayed down after that play. I hope that everything's okay. Jones and Fountain in as the backs. We'll have to check on him here. Second and third, Fountain slips over. Jones, the speedster, comes in. He'll get past the line for the first. Darnell Jones coming in as backup here. First and 10. Jones gets the ball. Jones slips through, he'll pick up seven. FCS called a timeout there. They used the first one. 2.16 left in the game. Oh, Jones stopped in the backfield. Four yard loss. FCS uses their second timeout. Third and seven. Third and seven, important down here. Dunbar goes to Stewart. He makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown, Texas State. Ryan Stewart showing off right now. Cuts the outside, perfect pass. Steps in and that may solidify this game. Sands gives him another 21-9. And Washington and Boise State had a shootout. Washington wins that one. I don't know why we care, but they think we do. First and 10, two minutes to go. Black calling some audibles. Called the screen. He's getting blocks and he'll pick up 10 on the screen, 11, excuse me. FCS trying to push down the field, A minute 59 left to go. Wide opens Barry. He'll get knocked out of bounds. Seven yards, though. Oh, Summers taken down. Pass up the middle. Gore brings him down, but they'll get the first down. So FCS really pushing here. All day. Parker on the coverage. Parker brings it down. Parker could have just ended the game, and I think he has... A minute 15 left, and the cornerback, Parker, was there. He'll snag that one out. Nice catch. Texas State comes out. Victory formation. Dunbar looking around. And he'll kneel it, and that will do it. Texas State is going to win this. That'd be your game. Texas State wins 21 to 9 over FCS Midwest. Look at the experience roll in. Coach Conquest going to be happy about that. Picking up his first. Tom Sutton was your player of the game. 27 carries, 141 yards, and a TD. There goes Mr. Dropper. Team celebrating with the fans here at Bobcat Stadium. Great game all around. Final score here at Bobcat Stadium, 21 to nine, Texas State Bobcats, your winners. Look at our head coach, Brett Conquest, getting some EXP, rushed for 100 yards, got a win game, very nice. Score 21 more points. Take a look at our team stats. Brent Dunbar, our quarterback, 111.8 rating, 15 for 29, almost 200 yards, had a touchdown and an interception, 51% completion. He was wishy-washy as the game went on. Rushing department, Sutton was our, our workhorse, 141 yards. Jones come in, Darnell Jones, the sophomore out of Keller, Texas, got 32 yards. Both of them pick up a touchdown. Sutton had the one run over 20 plus yards. Our poor quarterback, Dunbar, those sacks kind of uh, put him in the negative category. Receiving, Gandy, six receptions, 62 yards. Fox four for 70. Stewart, four for 45. Uh, drops, though, as you can see. Gandy had three drops on the day. Stewart with the one. Darnell Jones had one catch, looks like, for 15 yards. I'm going to have to do some thoughts about Gandy. 
uh, him being a senior and dropping that much, that worries me. On a defensive side of the line, we had Jensen with six tackles, six solo. Stanley with five tackles, three solo. Summers with five tackles, four solos. Three tackles for loss for Jensen. Sacks on the day, Mangum, Green, and Jensen. Look at the freshman redshirt, Green. Ryan Green getting in there. He's a cornerback. Got a sack. Interceptions. Parker had the game one on one. Russ Parker, good job. And then we had Stanley that had one earlier on. Sands, kicker, three for three on extra point attempts. O'Connor, our punter, three attempts, almost 100 net yards, averaging 32.3 yards, and one was inside the 20. His longest was 39 on the day. I find this funny, other games around the country, Western Kentucky beating University of Kentucky Wildcats 20 to 13, which did happen at one point. That's awesome. Brett Conquest leveled up, he is now level two. With that level, Coach Brett Conquest will get a point. Uh, obviously, we're going to work on recruiting, so we'll put this on scouting. At the next level, increases scouting efficiency, allows you to uncover around 50% of a prospect's true skills each week. So, obviously, that is something amazing. Get back in the lot. Yeah, we're not going to worry about that. So, we'll do that. We'll dump that point in there. Awesome job. Keep it up, Coach. Our DC and OC, CJ Tate and Carl Kaysen have not leveled up yet. All right, that about do it for this week, Gamer Nation. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Texas State Bobcat football. Looks like next week we got the North Texas Mean Green. Wow, they're really excited about the game. Empty stands. The game not to watch this week is Texas State against North Texas. If you appreciated this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe to uh, the Gamer Nation. And I will see you all next week when we take on the Mean Green. Have a good week, everybody. Oh, I forgot I was still recording. <laughs> Future Steve, sorry about that.